Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash, and today I want to look at the Layout Adjustment tool in RPG Developer Bakin. This is located under the Master menu as soon as you begin editing your game. There is a splash screen with a checkbox that you can use to not show this next time. And just a note on the user interface, I am recording this video in 4K. The UI would be bigger if you are using a smaller resolution. Let's get started. The Advice panel reads Layout Adjustment. This is where you can change the appearance of the various screens that appear in the game. You can change the position of the parts and images that appear on the screen, specify the movement of the parts when they are displayed or removed, and also change the screen that opens when a button is selected. From the screen list on the left side of the editor, select which layout of the screen to be changed. Although multiple layouts can be created for each scene, the layout actually used in the game will be the one checked in the Layout to be Assigned box on the left side of the screen. Complex specifications are also required to control the menu. Please refer to the layouts that are included by default or in the Sample Games project. As always, if you're not sure what to do, please refer to the manual on the RPG Builder Bakin official site. So it looks like this is going to be a tool that allows us to completely customize the in-game UI. Let's go ahead and check this box and hit OK. I'll maximize the window, and we have several parts to this tool. First, I'll show you that you can resize these panes as you desire. For maximum readability. On the very left we have a screen list. It looks like title is included as well as folders for in-game effects, menus, conversation, battles, system, and battles again. If we double click these menus we can open or close them and see what's contained inside. We currently have title selected so let's keep that selected while we look at the other panes. In the second pane which is called layout to be assigned we have a search function and add layout to create a new layout copy, paste, and delete functions. We can also resize these sub-panels. We have our list of layouts, and we have a spot for management tags and notes. We have a search for layout parts. This layout contains three layout parts, the background, the title and subtitle names, and new game, continue, and config options. We also have a management tags and notes section for the layout parts as well. In the third panel, in the center of the screen, we have play functions, reverse playback. We can enable snapping the layout parts to the grid. We can turn the grid on and off. We can capture a scene of the specified map using the camera tool and use it as a rough sketch. We can switch the display method and we can change the magnification of the preview. I'll click this and then we can see that we have options for magnifying the preview. I'll select fit the preview screen. Nothing seems to have changed. This is one, this is two, and it looks like I can use the scroll wheel on the mouse to move this scroll bar up and down. I can use the bottom scroll bar to move left and right. So I've magnified this times four so we can get a better look at it. So we have a canvas and then we have the individual elements that we can select. They will be highlighted when we select them. Here is the background. It is just a colored shape. The title and subtitle names are these two lines of text. And then of course the new game, continue config, exit game menu, obviously down below. We can adjust the elements precisely using the up, down, left, and right, or width and height options up top. We can add a container to store the display items. Now when we click on these, we can see that the menu to the right changes, and these are the properties for the selected layout part. We have two categories here, basic and visible. Basic lets us specify an offset for the X and Y axes, the horizontal and vertical size, as well as the display origin or anchor, the scale and whether or not to flip the image. And then under the visible category, we have text color, inactive color, status up color, status down color, text effects, use multi-line text, and clipping with parent container, which we can enable or disable. For this one, if it's placed outside the parent container, it will not be displayed. Enough of the title screen, let's look at the game over screen. This one's very simple, it just has the game over text on it and nothing else. Something called the scoreboard, which is empty. Under menus, we have the main menu window, and I'll zoom in on this so you can see what that looks like. Indeed, it appears we are going to be able to move exactly where we want our options to be and how they are displayed on the screen. We have access to playtime, money, and we can link these to either straight text or available variables in Bakin. Look at this, when I click on the money layout part, I can see that its text property has a variable assigned to it. The variable for time is also assigned to the text property of the playtime 
layout part. Now you can right click in this screen and see that there is a context menu that appears, capture and save to file, capture and save to clipboard, capture and save as thumbnail, save layouts to file, and load layouts from file. We can click on the individual portraits and see that they are linked themselves to various variables. This one, for example, is linked to party image icon. This one is party image icon zero, party condition icon, 0, 1, 2, and 3, HP, max HP, MP, and their values, the character's names, and so on. The implication is absolutely full-featured menu customization. Let's move on. The item select screen. Also, clicking on the layout, I've noticed that the item select properties have appeared. So the properties for the layout will appear when you select the layout, and you can change the background music or keep it playing as well as the environmental sound. You can also change the 3D field of view and the description for each item, which is tied to a variable, current item description in this case. The submenus are all fully customizable as well. Here is the item user selection and the skill activator selection, skill selection, skill user selection, equipment changer selection, equipment position selection, item selection, replace members, the picture book, maps, the save file selection, overwrite confirmation, messages, conversations, even battle commands. Our loading screen can be customized. Our startup logo can be customized here. Battle messages. Now there are slightly different properties that can appear based on the type of layout part that you have selected. For example, when I select the break line layout part, its properties are display position X and Y and Z, the option to use 3D coordinates, the horizontal and vertical size, anchor, scale, special coordinate specification tag, which it can be used to specify the display position of messages, conversations, ins, selections, and tickers. Under the visible category, you can change window image, display as rectangle, the color, and whether to use additive composition. Under the effects category, you can assign sprite, motion during display, appearance motion, and disappearance motion. And under the control category, you can change the container management number, hide when the menu is opened, hide when the child text is empty. That pretty much concludes the tour and overview of the layout tool in Bakin. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please look forward to future videos. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.